Doing styles on them like it's common sense. Hopped out the vents like it's common sense. Put a monkey on my feet like it's common sense. Got gorillas in the streets like it's common sense. When I heard that I was nominated, I was like, whoa. I'm loving it. I'm happy just that everyone's got their eyes on us. And we can just, it's, a, it's the time for us to prove, innit? Because I've been into grime since I grew up on grime, innit? And now, it's, now we're getting a break, so I'm happy to, to even be a part of it as well. Tell us about the title and what inspired it. And common sense is just like, it's common sense to listen to Jay Huss. That's how, that's how I feel, isn't it? Like everyone, whether you like it or not, you're, you're going to hear Jay Huss, and it's just common sense. So, how important is common sense to you, and have you always had it? I, I say I've always had it, but whether I use it or not, I, I, I don't. I don't always use it. Always, obviously, everyone makes their mistakes, and but um, yeah, I think yeah, it's been. A, I, I do. I do use it when I need to. So. Yeah. I grew up in Stratford. I've been living in Stratford my whole life. Um, my earliest influence is Michael Jackson. I love. I used to love Michael Jackson as a kid. That's the first um, CD I got. His greatest hits compilation CD. I used to listen to that. All, used to, and used to, it was a DVD actually. So I used to put in a DVD. Come with the, all the videos and that. And obviously, yeah, I used to, I used to love Michael Jackson. I used to love R. Kelly. R. Kelly's music. I used to love um, Usher. And then, growing, that was when I was really, really young. I was talking like primary school. And then even pr growing up growing up in primary school, I started, it, I was heavily into 50 Cent. Like, he was my favorite artist, 50 Cent was my favorite artist. Um, UK, heavily, my favorite UK artist was always Skepta. Um, yeah, I just love Skepta. Um, when it comes to Afrobeats, I grew up on songs like, when I used to go um, out to events with my mum, Songs like Sweet Mother, you know, with, Af with, with Afrobeats, yeah. I don't ever always remember the artists, but it's the names, it's the it's the it's this tune I always remember. So songs like Sweet Mother and all they used to always play, and um, and when it comes to Bashman, very heavily into Mavado, Mavado, um, so many, so many, so many dancehall artists I'm into. So and you can hear all those influences yeah. in the album. And yeah. the incredible thing is, it's really cool yeah. to be from Africa now. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. when I was your age, everyone <laughs> used to, from the African yeah, diaspora, yeah. used to be like, oh, I'm Caribbean. Yeah. You know, people wouldn't admit to yeah. it. How does it feel to have a whole country, a whole globe, actually, yeah. now that Afrobeats artists are being assigned to huge record deals? No, you know, people are proud of being African. I know, I was, talking, I was having this conversation with someone two, two, three days ago, like, it's crazy, like, everyone was just, Everyone was embracing that the African culture because I, I I agree with that as well. When I was in school, it was not the cool thing to be African, but but funny enough, in the area I came from in Newham, there was a lot of us anyway. So like Newham is very that is a very diverse area, so there was still a lot of us, and we still. I I would say I was I was I was a I was always a bit proud to be from Africa, but. What do you think's changed? What happened to make it something that people were embarrassed about and now are proud of? What changed? Um, I just think, I just think um, people just started, when Afro, Afrobeats really started popping in the UK 2012, so when the Azanto thing was all popping, so I used to have, I used to be like, I used, I used to be, in, I used to go to the shop and I'll see that's like, the strangest people that I would never expect to be listening to that kind of music, listening to it, and it was on the radio, Radio One, Radio, whatever, all that. So at that at that moment in time, I'm thinking the music was good. People was just tired of being ashamed, just embrace it, and people just, I don't know, like African culture is beautiful, and I think I think we we also we inspire a lot of people and but we just i don't know what it is about we've Africa. finally taken the yeah, bat and you guys yeah, are running yeah, with yeah, it yeah exactly so that's what it is now and we're just embracing it we're just loving it the culture's amazing the music's great everyone's just everyone just loves is loving the music so yeah so there's what. songs on there that have been inspired and you've got lyrics and shout outs to women in ireland yeah, yeah. for example yeah, i mean yeah. tell us about that how does you know how do the places that you go to yeah. inspire the music, etc.? What was the trip to Ireland like, for example? When I, well, I went to Dublin, and when I first arrived, um, I, I saw a couple like a couple boys in the street, and I went, I went to them. And they, but when they came to me, they was like, "Oh, J House, whatever," blah, 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 and he was talking, 
just get just I was like to him, so what's what's Ireland like? Like what's if I want to if I see a girl and I wanted to speak to her, what would I say to her? It was like say what's the crack, what's the story? That's what it was like, say what's the crack, what's the story? So since then that's always been in my head and everywhere I go, what's the crack, what's the story? And um yeah, man, it was just a beautiful time. I met a lot of good people. This they just treated me well they welcomed they welcomed me with open arms and I just one of the, my favourite most favourite and memorable experiences in it. So that's why it stayed with me and I put it on that album. Did you use the line? Did it work? Yeah, use the line. Whenever I go, whenever I see Irish people, what's the crack? What's the story? They love it. Innit? Did you see what I done? Came in the black bands, left in the white one. I'm just a hood like my game with the bones. I'm a wanna try something. I've been in situations where I've ended up in hospital and whatnot. But I just had to, I just had to keep it moving. Just whatever happens. Things happening. This is life. This is, it's not a joke. This is life. People people die all the time. People people die. Whether people are getting stabbed or whatever, people are gonna die. So you just gotta. I don't know, man. I I don't have a I don't have a solution for it. People who are critics of rap music always say that it glorifies violence. Yeah. What would you say to those people? If that's what we see, what can? What, that's not our fault. That's all I see every day. What, what do you want me to say? Do you want me to lie to you and say things I don't see? I'm telling you about my reality. This is what I've been through. Whether it's negative or positive, I'm trying to put a, put a positive swing on it, like spin on it. Like it's like it's like me saying, watching movies, watching movies is a bit this pure violence, shooting and whatever. Does that make people carry a gun and go outside and do shooting? I don't know. Movies, video games, Grand Theft Auto, crazy games. It's all. People love violence, so people love. People love violence, isn't it? So people buy into it. And obviously, I'm just telling my story. And if it involves that, I've got to say it, innit? What's your message as a role model to younger people now who are caught up in that lifestyle? I know it sounds cliche, but stay positive. Like, it's easy to get distracted. It's easy, to, people draw you out, people do so many things, but just, if you have a purpose, find out what your purpose is, set yourself a goal, and reach that goal. That's what I say to yourself. Like, without a purpose, you're nothing. You're not. You're not. You're not a man without a purpose. You need a purpose. You need something to, to live for. Even if you don't have nothing to live for, you're living for no reason. So that's what I would say. Just always have something to live for. Um, and just positive positivity. Like even if whatever's going on in life, you stay positive. I guarantee you see changes. So you've got a full set of summer festivals coming up. There's a European tour, etc. What does it mean for you to be all over Europe this year? I mean, that's a massive change from where you've come from. Yeah. What I really want to do is, I want to conquer the whole of the UK first. I don't feel like I've done my job here. Then conquer the whole of Europe. Then go Africa. Then conquer America. Then conquer the world. That's what. That's my plan for right now. That's what I want to do. So. Um, like, be, like, I just want to just take over, innit? So we start off slow, step by step, conquer Europe and everything, and then we go for the world. Did music make you more confident? Because I actually heard that you were quite shy and quiet. I don't think you are. I am j -Hus. I'm a reserved, quiet, a little bit funny, <laughs> if I may say so myself. You know, with, with like people see me on TV, they think I'm just, just, just like, oh, I'm always just happy. Like, I don't know. People just expect you to be like how they see you on YouTube all the time, innit? So when they see me, and I'm just quiet. I'm not really saying too much. I just have nothing to say. But um, with with the music, it's the way I, I express myself. That's the way I express myself, innit? So, like, I could be quiet or whatever. People like before I go on stage, people would like to me. Are you, are you sure you're alright? You sure you don't want to walk or anything? Because they think I'm just. I'm like, no, trust me, when you when I go on stage, you're going to see, I go on stage, go topless, jump in the crowd, everything. As soon as I touch the mic, nerves, everything, gone. Like, it's just the way I, it's the way I like, I, I like to communicate.